गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई सेल्फ मधुस्मिता बिस्वार द फैकल्टी ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग गोइंग टू गिव ए लेक्चर ऑन हाइड्रोलॉजी दैट इज चैप्टर वन सो हियर आर सम ऑफ द आर्टिकल्स दैट इज हाइड्रोलॉजी हाइड्रोलॉजिकल साइकिल रेनफॉल वॉट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ रेनफॉल हाइड्रोग्राफ एस्टिमेशन ऑफ रेनफॉल रेनगॉज एंड इट्स types of rain gauge concept of catchment area runoff and estimation of flood discharge by dickens and ribes formula so this are the outline we will be reading in the in this chapter so first is what are the sources of water as all of us know the oceans ice caps glaciers ground water lakes soil moisture atmosphere streams and rivers they they are the sources of water so in oceans it takes 97.25% and in ice caps and glaciers it takes 2.05% and in ground water it takes 0.68% and in lakes that it takes 0.01% and in soil moisture this takes 0.005% and in atmosphere this takes 0.001% and in streams and rivers that it takes 0.0001% so by adding these we can get as Hundred percent the sources of water. So next is that is hydrology. So what do you mean by hydrology? So hydro means water and logy means science. So hence it is called as hydrology means the science of water. Also we can say it as the different forms of water that are available above the earth surface or below the earth surface that is known as hydrology. so here this is known as hydrological cycle you can see the hydrological cycle so in the hydrological cycle some of the terms that is transpiration evaporation infiltration condensation runoff precipitation subsurface flow okay so all of us know in the hydrological cycle that this is the streams lakes rivers ponds when it gets heated by the help of the sun so it get rises by the help of evap by the means of evaporation or transpiration so after that it makes a cloud formation then the precipitation or the rainfall occurs so here are some of the components of the hydrological cycle first that is evaporation of the water from the surface sources like lake lakes rivers oceans then from the surface of the soil then from the plants through transpiration by this process the water is conveyed to, into the vapor next process that is condensation it is a process by which the vapor is converted in, into the solid form that is in the form of a clouds next is precipitation precipitation is in the form of rain snow sleet diesel etc next the components is infiltration after the water reaches the ground it infiltrates into the ground next is surface runoff the remaining water which flows on the ground or the surface and joins the channel that is called as surface runoff so next is ground water flow or interflow the water which is infiltrated into the ground and then joins on the stream on the lateral stage that is called as interflow so here comes what are the types of precipitations so as of as all of us know precipitations means precipitations means from the principle of hydrological cycle we have seen that the water goes in evaporation continuously from the water surfaces that is from the lake river ponds oceans etc by the effect of the sun and the water vapor goes on collecting in the atmosphere up to a certain limit when this limit exceeds when this limit exceeds and the temperature and the pressure fall to a certain value then the water vapor will get condensed and thereby the cloud is formed so after that the droplets are formed and return to the earth in the form of a rain snowfall or hail etc that is the process is known as precipitation so next we'll be reading on what are the types of precipitations so based on the factors responsible for the lifting the precipitation is classified as three types that is first is cyclonic convective and orographic precipitations so there are three types of precipitations so so we will be reading in the next slide the what are the types of precipitations thank you